Okay, we got a few more of these. Let's see what this one brings up. Kenya bought a new pair of jeans on Black Friday. They originally cost $45, but the store was having a 25% off sale. How much did she pay for the jeans? So first of all, let's look at our little worksheet here. We're gonna draw this when we start to solve it. I see a percent sign right there. So I know I'm going down here to yes. I do not see the words percent increase, percent decrease, or percent change, so that's not it. I don't see is and of, so that's not it. <clears throat> but I do see that she went to a sale, which is a discount. So this is definitely what we're gonna be using. So that's what we're gonna be using when we go to the next page and solve this. So first things first, do that. I know I need my hundred here because I saw the word percent. And I've always said, if you see a number right in front of the symbol, it has to go right above the 100. Original price is 45, and that's what goes right there on the bottom. And how much she got as a discount is what we're trying to figure out. But we wanna know what she paid for the jeans, so we're gonna have to take the $45 that they cost, we're gonna have to subtract whatever that discount is to find the final price. So first we're gonna cross multiply. We've got 100x equals, then we're gonna multiply 45 times 25, and that gives you 1125. Then to get that x alone, we have to divide by 100 on each side. So we're gonna take 1125 and we're gonna divide by 100, which gives us $11.25. This is your discount, or how much you're getting off of those jeans because they're on sale. So we're gonna take 45 and we're gonna subtract 11.25. So 45 minus 11.25 is $33.75. That's how much she paid for the jeans because they were on sale for 25% off. The discount she got for the sale was $11.25, $11.25. But the final price, is what you take or what you get when you take the price that you started with and subtract the discount, okay? No wonder Kenya's buying jeans, she's looking good.